Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. Work App Scaler. So on this video, I want to showcase a tier three maximum settings PC, which is a Ryzen 9 RTX 2080 Super rig, their highest rig. But on this case with maximum settings, we're going to go ahead and uh, play Flight Simulator 2020, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 with 2560 by 1440p with medium settings so 1440p medium settings uh, and just to show you how much of a performance boost do you get i would recommend this to anybody who wants to play the uh, flight simulator through maximum settings and uh you're gonna see just how awesome the performance gonna be right here right now so without any further ado let's go ahead and let's do this We are in Pompano Beach, Florida. We got ourselves a Skyhawk Cessna. This is the older version of a Skyhawk Cessna. As you can see, um, everything seems to be running very smoothly. Maybe I can uh, bring my controller up a little bit so you guys can see it. Now people talk about latency. Is there latency? There's always going to be a little bit of latency because we are using a cloud uh, PC here. This is being streamed. Anything that's being streamed, there's going to be some latency. But this is a pretty good latency. I'm thinking roughly 13 milliseconds. It's what I'm getting here. Roughly 13 milliseconds. Okay, That's what I would say which is pretty good, as you can see here. So let's go a little bit higher. That, here. That's pretty good latency. I'm getting 60 FPS, 60 FPS, steady 60 FPS, which is pretty good as well. Um, so if you're gonna be playing Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 on maximum settings I would suggest 1440p to medium because remember if you're using a 4k monitor uh, selecting 1440p it's gonna automatically upscale to 4k you're still gonna have a great quality but you're also gonna get a great performance and I'm all about the performance and fluidity and of course lower latency So here we are, 95. This is probably Boca Raton, Blaze Road. Um, most likely. So let's go ahead and um, let's get a little bit closer to the road. This is pretty good, man. This is a great, smooth performance here. I don't know if you guys can see my controller here I'm moving it just so everybody can see how fluid this is you know how fluid it looks And this also should be a testament for anybody out there who has doubts about the future of cloud, the future of cloud gaming. I mean, if this is possible right now, and I can do this right now with a small company that's, that's combined of four people, four people running the small company from Toronto called Maximum Settings, if they can do this right now, if they can do this right now and we can have this kind of uh, smooth experience on our devices without building and spending thousands of dollars for uh, expensive PCs if we can do this right now in 2020 imagine what's gonna be possible 10 years from now just let your imagination go wild what's gonna be possible uh, 20 I mean 10 years from now eight, eight years forget 10 years eight years from now 
what's going to be possible eight years from now just let your imagination go wild what's going to be possible eight years from now forget 10 years eight years from now so that's the way i look at things um and this is smooth man this is very smooth and i think it's going to show uh on the video on the video you guys are going to see it i'm trying to do my best here to to showcase this you know I, i'm trying to do my best you know just to show you the, uh, how smooth it is like here again there is latency but it's a very minimal uh, 13 milliseconds which is not bad at all dude. it's not bad at all you hear it clearly I don't think you'll get anything better on your Xbox one oh, on your X Series X when the game comes out, I guarantee you, you're not going to get anything better than this. The only difference is you spend $500 on that console. And you have to turn it on. Here, you have to run it and it gets overheated. Here, you're not overheating anything. Here, you just click and play. Click and play, man. Um, what is the downside of the, of the cloud? The downside of the cloud is that you don't have that hardware. You don't own that hardware. Okay, that's like pro like the only negative that I can think of of cloud is that you don't actually own the hardware. But the benefit is that you can access that hardware from any device from anywhere you go as long as you have the uh, access to the uh, the internet. And and we just look how smooth this is, dude. I mean, look at this, man. Come on. very nice so this is Boca Raton for those of you who live in Boca Raton you are probably gonna see some familiar stuff here obviously that's 95 usually the traffic is pretty bad <laughs> uh, right here 95 there's the airport right there And it looks great at medium settings, uh, 1440p. Um, I would suggest medium settings, 1440p, for anybody out there who's serious about this game, who's serious about playing this uh, flight simulator, because you want to have that performance, okay? The whole idea is for you to have that performance, and you're going to get that performance with uh, 1440p medium, medium settings. And, um, well, as you can see, it, there it is. I mean, looks great. You gotta remember, we're on the cloud. This is from a cloud. We're streaming this, so that's why it's a big deal. If that, if I was running this locally from my PC, okay, fine, whatever. Or if I was running this locally from a console, fine, whatever. But this is something that's being streamed from a um, small company in Toronto, and I'm in South Florida. That is a pretty big deal, dude. Uh, and look how smooth this is. So when people say that cloud, that cloud, it's a waste of time, and it's a fading, fading technology, I'm like, what are you talking about? They're just warming up. Cloud is just warming up. We have basically we haven't seen anything yet from the cloud yet uh, but it will in about eight years in about ten years you're gonna see the cloud become a standard where everything's gonna be on your TV on your phone on your tablet on your laptop on whatever you have uh, on your virtual reality it's all gonna be there it's gonna be it's all gonna be part of stream cloudy cloud cloud everything's everything is on the cloud Listen to your music, all on the cloud. Listen to, uh, watch your movies, all on the cloud. It's all being streamed.
Well, I don't need to really, uh, do I even have to talk about this anymore? Clearly, you can see how smooth this is. And clearly, you can see uh, that there is a tremendous amount of stability here on this service. And this is one of the things that uh, I wish that Shadow would, uh, would focus on, it's stability. You know, not just stability, but also uh, upgrading to a uh, higher, higher end rig. People ask me, what is my problem with Shadow? My only problem with Shadow is that we're tired of waiting. Uh, we're tired of waiting for a something that we should have. 2080, it's getting old now. Uh, we got 3080, we got 3090. Uh, they can't even upgrade to 2060 Super. I'm pretty sure there's 2060 Super in stock. Uh, Shadow. I'm pretty sure that you can find 2070 uh, lying around somewhere in stock. Uh, like, what's the hold up, Shadow? I, I, I'm just trying to understand what seems to be the problem. You know, why do we have to wait so long? That's it. Well, anyway, there you have it. Uh, I think uh, this video speak for itself. I showed you uh, Modern Warfare yesterday. I'm showing you this again. Uh, I'm going to take a little break from maximum settings from cloud because I do have some other videos to work on. Okay. Uh, but I think I've proven here more than enough that the cloud services are the future and they are working. No issues, no problems, as you can see clearly here. Clearly here. And people who are worrying about latency, people who are worrying about uh, input lag, rest easy, don't worry. It's the same as what you normally get with your console, okay? So, um, that's it. And the quality is good at medium settings. You know, people say, oh, I don't wanna go down to uh, medium settings. There's nothing wrong with the medium settings. It's pretty good. Um, 1440p, nothing wrong with 1440p. It's still, still gonna look good uh, being upscaled to 4K on your 4K monitor. But the key thing is you'll be getting a really nice performance. And that's what it's all about, performance and boost here. Fluidity, especially with a game like this, you want to have that fluidity, okay? All right, guys. Well, there you have it. I hope this video helps. Like I said, I'll take a little break. Go check out my previous videos from Maximum Settings because uh, I have to take a little break from Maximum Settings because I got some other videos I have to work on, some other things I got to do regarding televisions, projectors, etc., etc. But uh, I hope that these videos give you some idea as to why I believe that uh, you should go ahead and check out Maximum Settings. I am supporting them. Clearly, you can see the banner here, the watermark. I am supporting maximum settings, and I think uh, the reason I support them because they're doing something right. Okay, I don't just support anybody out of the blue. Uh, if I support somebody, it means that I like what they're doing, and uh, I want them to continue, and I want them to uh, to keep moving forward, so they can uh, bring us even more better experience. But also keep in mind that they're still in beta. This company, it's a small company, they just started. They're still in beta. So uh, again, I'm not the owner of the company. Uh, I don't know what Paul's gonna do. Uh, I did talk to him, but I don't know him that well. I don't know what his plans are, what he wants to do in the future. I have no idea. Uh, it's not my company, it's his company. Uh, I'm just here to support him and that's about it. And as you can see, runs great, no issues. No problems. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. Uh, okay. No tricks here. What you see is what you get. And that's how I run my channel. You see what you see is what you get, guys. Maybe that's what I should call my channel. What you see is what you get. All right. Well, that's it. I'm out. Thank you, guys. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.